In this video, we're going to go ahead and start with our basic setup, and we're going to create what we need in order to start creating our project. So let's go ahead and get started. We are using Unreal Engine 4, version 4.11 at this time of recording. Anything this version or higher should work perfectly fine. We're here in our Unreal Project Browser, and we're going to go ahead and start a new project. We're going to use a blank blueprint. You do not need any starter content. Everything we create will be created during the video. And you can set this to maximum or scalable quality, desktop or mobile, it really doesn't matter. There are some things to consider in terms of performance, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick with the basics. We'll cover performance in a later video as we get into it, and we'll cover some good things and bad things when you're dealing with VR. Let me go ahead and name this. We'll call this one the VR FPS series. Actually, let's try that MVP VR series. There we go. We'll go ahead and create a new project. Unreal is going to go ahead and start this up, and we will have a nice, blank, fresh project. So, since we're creating everything from scratch, let's go ahead and create everything we're going to in terms of our basic setup. So for our basic setup, we're going to need to create a few folders. Let's go ahead and add a new folder. We'll call, that would be adding a content pack. Let's add a new folder called blueprints because I'm pretty sure we're going to have a few blueprints. Let's add a new folder called maps. Now let's try that again without hitting content. I really don't like how it's at the top. And I know we're going to need some materials, so let's do materials, and well, we're going to need a mesh for our gun, so let's do meshes, and a particle, so let's do particles, and let's just call that a day for now. We'll cart a few of these, and we'll go from there. Let's be smart and save our map as our first thing. So let's go ahead and do save all. It'll save all of our basic stuff but it won't save our map. Then we'll do a save, and it'll ask us to save our map. Let's name this a VR map. Now we have our actual VR map we can come back to. Now we need to make sure it is our actual map that we're gonna load each time, or else we're gonna get confused if we come back later. So let's go to Edit, Project Settings, Maps and Modes, and let's set our default map to our VR map. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a new game mode, so let's go ahead and make a new game mode. Let's go ahead and, we don't need to close out, we're gonna come right back to it. So under blueprints, let's do another folder called system or framework, let's call it framework. I like framework better. And in framework, let's go ahead and create a new blueprint class. And we're gonna create a new game mode. We're gonna create a new game mode because we're gonna create our own pawn to control everything. And rather than just adjusting the default game mode, it makes sense to make your own game mode. So we'll call this VR game mode. And actually the game mode is going to hold most of our logic for this game too. So that makes sense as well. So we'll call it VR game mode. Let's go ahead and assign this. We'll go back to our project settings. Default game mode, VR game mode. And that should be it for now. So let's go ahead and close this down and go back to our game mode. Now we need a new pawn or a character to control. So let's make a new folder. Folders are always good. And we'll call this one player because it's going to hold our player. And now let's discuss two different options. For VR, well, actually for, it doesn't matter what type of game, you have two different bases you can use for your character. You can use character or pawn. Let's check out the difference between both of them. We'll call this one VR character. And then we'll make a pawn. And we'll call this one VR pawn. And then we'll go ahead and check out the difference between the two of them. So open up our character, drag it over here. Let's open up our pawn, and we'll drag it there. So looking at our character, we have our character as the root. We have a capsule component, which controls our collision as well as mouse rotation and things like that. An arrow component, which simply lets us know which way is forward. A mesh, which is blank by default if we wanted to have a mesh representing our character. And then a character movement component. Now our pawn has the pawn as the root, and then a scene root, and that's it. Nothing extra. Looking through the pawn, 
Really, the only thing that's unique is going to be these settings for the pawn here, such as the controller, controlling rotation, some AI things, and then the base of the camera eye height. On the character, we have the same things, the controller locations, because character is a child of pawn. So we have the camera and the pawn. But then we have also things like the character jump hold time, and then we have character movement, which has this giant section of stuff. Well, for our example, since we're not going to be moving, we're not going to have any locomotion. Locom locomotion, yeah, like a choo-choo train. Locomotion. We're going to go ahead and go with the pawn. We don't need the movement things, because we're not going to move. We're just going to look around. We don't need a capsule component. We're not going to use collision. And as you'll find shortly, collision can cause an issue. And we don't need a mesh, because we're not going to assign a mesh to our character. So let's go ahead and get rid of the character, and we'll go ahead and delete it. Pretend you never used it. We're going to use the pawn for our character itself. So we'll do that. And one issue here is if you hit play and we look over here, well, we have default pawn as the pawn that spawned. We don't have VR pawn as the pawn that spawned. And we might be asking, well, why is that? Well, because we haven't assigned it. We need to go back into our framework, go into our game mode. Change our default pawn class to VR pawn, and then go ahead and compile and save. Now, if you go into your game mode, and this comes up, that's fine. You just don't have the blueprint editor. You can click here, or you can change it down here under your default classes to VR pawn. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. And that is going to be the basics of our setup. We've gone ahead and created our new game mode we're going to use. Let's go ahead and test it. That would be smart. We'll go over here and we'll see VR Pawn. So we're using our VR game mode and we're using our VR Pawn. In case you're wondering, if you are playing and you want to escape from the playing editor, you can press the Shift F1 or Shift Function 1 key that will release the mouse. And then you can go over here, scroll around, eject, or stop. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and set up the HMD, or head mounted device or display. We're going to add the camera to it, we're going to test to make sure it works, and we're going to deal with issues on collision.